Well, the Vietnam War came to an end almost 50 years ago, and because of that, it's becoming more important than ever to recognize and honor those veterans. Donnie Edwards, the founder of the Best Defense Foundation, joins us now to discuss today and what it means. Donnie, good to see you. I love the jacket. Oh, thank you, Ginger. How are you doing? Just uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. In fact, I love talking about honoring these Vietnam veterans because they've gone by the wayside in so many ways. But today, we're finally, you know, punctuating, highlighting, thanking them for their service. Do you agree? Absolutely. You know, time heals, and these men and women that served during the Vietnam War. I mean, they. When they were called up by their country, they stepped up and they defended this country to the best of their ability. And they never got the welcome that they always should have received a long time ago. So, you know, time heals. And I think now is finally the time where they have their holiday um, in perpetuity that we have on March 29th. Um, it's just so special that we could recognize this day to honor their service and sacrifice to this country. You know, of course, we love you and the Best Defense Foundation. We visit with you a lot when you're taking veterans on honor flight. Aside from that, though, for our viewers unfamiliar with the Best Defense Foundation, what do you do for our veterans? We honor, recognize, and celebrate our veterans, starting with our oldest to our youngest. We have Battle for Returns going back to the battlefields in, J in June. We're going to be heading back to Normandy with over 30 veterans. Um, we also do educational programs in schools, making sure the next generation understands and remembers the service and sacrifice of all those that made this country um, what it is today. And also we do a transition program, helping our special forces uh, transition to life after uh, um, the uniform. And we connect them with NFL players that are on the same plight and uh, we connect and we try to help each other out moving forward so we can be better human beings. I know um, in the past you've really focused on honoring World War II veterans, but you've got a new cause for 2023. Tell us about that. Absolutely, because as you know, we want to make sure that we recognize our, our oldest veterans or our World War II veterans. They're approaching 100 years old. A lot of them are over 100 years old. And, uh, you know, we want to make sure that we continue, um, you know, this honoring of 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 our veterans and moving forward to 2023, we're gonna start honoring and giving the opportunity as we did to our World War II veterans, to our Vietnam veterans and going back to Vietnam for that brotherhood, that camaraderie and ultimate closure, going back on different terms so they can see it and know that their service is valued by so many of Americans here. So I'm looking forward to 2023 as we start our Vietnam Battle for Return programs with the Best Defense Foundation. My goodness, is that is not going to be a very emotional time. I mean, taking these veterans back to battlefields that left deep scars, especially then coming back to the States and not being welcomed with open arms. I mean, where'd you get the calling to do that? Well, it's important. You know, I've done it before. Back in 2016, we took six Vietnam veterans back, kind of like a pilot program to see how it was. And I got to tell you, it was so powerful. I mean, it was so emotional for me just to see these men coming together on different terms and going back to the battlefields and, and paying their respects to their brothers and sisters that they lost so many years ago and just being together on different terms and that brotherhood and that bond and uh, finally closing the book on that and looking at it from a different perspective is so important. You talk about closure, this is a closure that we owe it to them to give them a different path to go back and look at the war and their service differently. So incredible, your incredible work really quickly before we let you go. Is there a way that San Diego can rise up and help what you do for these veterans? Well, definitely go to our foundation, bestdefensefoundation.org, see what we do, be a part of our mission. We want to make sure that we serve all of our veterans because at the end of the day, we're so blessed to live in the greatest country in the world. It's because of the men and women that serve. And I want to make sure that everybody just thanks a veteran. I mean, every day to me is, is, is Veterans Day, Memorial Day. Make sure when you see a veteran, just thank you for their service because remember, freedom is not free. It's on the back of the, women, the men and women that serve this country. Indeed. Well said, Donnie. Thank you so much for everything you're doing, and thank you for your time tonight. Thank you. All right.